If you are seeing this warning in Clavio, I highly recommend that you take an action. And it's not just Clavio, guys. A lot of tools like HubSpot, um, Mailchimp, Smart Leads are pushing the user to verify their branded sending domain, their DMARC, their SBF, just to make sure that all the emails land to the right inbox folder, not to the spam folder. So again, if you are seeing this warning in Clavio, to take an action, click on the get started and you will be redirected to the dashboard page. And if you see this, it means you need to verify. Now, I already completed the other account in here. If I go into the homepage, nothing is coming, which means I already configured it. So if you are seeing this into your dashboard, you haven't configured your DMARC yet and your branded sending domain. So yeah, to get started, click on the get started button and then you will be redirected to the domain settings and you can find that on here um, on the avatar and click on the settings and then um, go into the email and then domain just want to walk you through in case you you lost and go into the domain so in here we haven't configured yet our sending domain so i'm going to click on button and then just simply write your root domain which is automatic already and this one just put whatever you prefer as your subdomain i'm going to use hello instead for this account and then in here you have two routing options the dynamic one and the static and obviously the dynamic is a recommended option but in case your dns zone editor doesn't accept ns <laughs> then you need to use the static option static options allow you to add a c name a record so i'm going to show you what i'm referring so i'm going to click on dynamic in here click on next and then you'll be asked like what you know domain or dns provider you have you use um I, I can put in cloud in my case we use cloudflare or you can even use other it actually doesn't matter the records that they will provide is just the same regardless of what dns provider you choose so i'm gonna click on cloudflare click on next and then this is the record type that you need to put in in your dns zone editor now again other domain provider like maybe you purchase your domain in crazy domains it doesn't have an ns record option now in cloudflare luckily it has that just in case if your domain provider doesn't have an ns record you can pick the static instead that one click on next and then again it doesn't matter what dns domain server you pick and you just need to add on the c name all of the dns zone editor has a c name guys so you should be good to go but since we use Cloudflare for this domain, I'm going to choose dynamic because we have an S. We can put, we can, you know, add an S record type in Cloudflare. So other, and then I'm going to copy that, go into my Cloudflare account, go to the DNS zone editor, and then click on add records, and then just simply choose an S. And then put in the root domain or at, it's just the same. Put in, um, uh, it should be hello so i'm going to put in hello there and then that and then i really love putting you know comments so love yo and another one here and s hello so this is all four um not s2 it should be s2 not s1 so love yo and then here s3 just fast forward that i'll just fast forward that and then love yo and then save and it's record so you need to put that you need to add the ns record four times but it has a two but the name server are different it's um it started from ns1 until ns4 so copy that play view then next and then lastly the txt records the txt at um okay that one and then where's the comment okay in here so we're done click on save and the reason why i put comment because it's just so easy if i type in clavio i can see all related clavio records so that's why i really love putting comments into my dns zone editor okay so once you added everything you can click on verify records but unfortunately um sometimes it doesn't reflect in real time just like what happened right now but in, in case if it doesn't just you know, wait for a couple of minutes and then just re-verify it again. So I'm going to click on I understand, check that, activate, and you should be good to go. I'm going to go back to the home section because we need to configure the DMARC also. So that one, so refresh. Oh, okay. So update the sender. I think we're good in that. It's already updated. So that's correct. 
Let's just jump into the DMARC one here, DMARC, and um, there is a super straightforward tutorial. You just need to add a TXC Air Records and a DMARC host, and then make sure that it is set to none. So again, I'm going to go back to my Cloudflare and add another TXC record for my DMARC and then type in DMARC as a host. DMARC is so important if you don't want to lend your emails to the spam folder. So guys, do not neglect that. Do not procrastinate that. Verify your DMARC. So value would be that. And then I'm gonna add, again, a comment, club, yo, save that, and I should be good to go. Now again, this one might take a couple of minutes, an hour or two, I forgot. But like, just wait. Um, just wait to fully propagate the domain 